Hey everyone, my name is Jessie and welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, I wanted to make a strawberry jello poke cake. And if you're not familiar with what that is, basically you get just a regular sheet cake, like a box cake, and then you poke holes in it with a skewer, and then you get some flavored liquefied gelatin, as if like when you're the beginning process of making jello while it's still liquefied, you pour it over your cake and then it soaks up all that delicious flavor and then you top it off with some pudding and then some Cool Whip and then some fresh fruit. <laughs> and so, and what another cool thing about it is that you can use whatever fruit you want. I'm using strawberries in this video, but you can do bananas, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, whatever your heart desires. You can use any fruit you want. And all you gotta do is once that's assembled, you just pop in the refrigerator for a couple of hours and you're good to go and it's nice and light and refreshing and it's absolutely delicious you have to try it and it's super easy to make and I'm going to show you how so without further ado let's get into it okay so we're gonna get started off by making our cake and you can use homemade if you want but I'm just using a box cake and I am just following the instructions on the back of the box so I'm adding my oil my water and my eggs and you can use whatever flavor you want if you want to do chocolate, if you want to do yellow, butter, whatever you want. And I'm just going to give that a nice good mix until all my ingredients are nice, well incorporated. Okay, so our batter's all set. I'm just going to set that to the side. And I'm using a 9 by 13 pan. And you can use whatever pan you want. Completely up to you. And I'm just going to spray that with some non-stick cooking spray. Okay, and I'm just going to pour my batter into my pan. Obviously, of course, because we have to cut the cake, y'all. Okay, just give that a nice wiggle. Make sure it's nice and even. I'm going to pop in the oven for 30, 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, right, so next we're going to start it on our pudding while our cake is cooking. And so again, I'm just following the instructions on the back of the box. So I'm taking the packet of Jello with two cups of cold milk. And I'm just going to give that a good mix until it's kind of thickened up a little bit more. And just like that, that looks amazing. Okay, and so as you can tell, it's definitely more solidified. It looks jiggly, but also perfect. I'm just going to pop a lid on it and put it, put it in the fridge until we're ready to use it again. And we can get started on our next step. Okay, now to get started on our strawberry jello, I am taking one cup of water in a sauce pot and I'm going to bring it to a boil. Okay, now that our water has come to boil, I'm going to add our jello mix and I'm just going to give that a nice mix until all of the sugar has dissolved into the hot water. Okay, our sugar has dissolved. It looks good. I'm just turning off the heat right now and now I'm going to add one cup of cold water and again, I'm just following the instructions on the back of the box and just give that a good mix until it's nice, well incorporated. Alright, and so now, just to garnish our cake, I am just going to chop up some fresh strawberries, and we're just going to put it on top of our cake and make it look nice and pretty. Okay, our cake is out of the oven, it's nice and cool, we have our pudding, and we have our jello that I've cooled off as well. And now I'm just going to take a pick, and I'm just going to poke holes throughout the entire cake. And the more you put, the more the jello will seep into the cake. So definitely a lot of holes that you want to put into the cake. Okay, now I'm just going to take my liquefied jello and I'm just going to pour it all over the cake. I know this probably seems a little bit weird, but trust me, the cake is going to soak up all of that liquid and absorb all of that strawberry flavor. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so I gave a minute or two for the cake to soak up the jello, and now I'm going to put on top my pudding now. And so I'm just going to pour that on top. And I'm just taking a spatula and I'm spreading it out, taking it all the way to the edges. Try to make it as even as possible, but if not, then it's fine. Okay, so I added all of my pudding, and now I'm going to put on my Cool Whip. And I'm using the whole container, you guys. I know that probably seems like a lot, but we are decorating an entire cake. And so, don't worry about the calories. It's fine, because you're not going to eat all of it in one setting. And so, I'm just going to take an offset spatula, and I'm just going to smooth it on top. Take all the way to the edges. Okay, we have 
our whipped cream and now we're just going to garnish our cake with some delicious and fresh strawberries and again you can use whatever fruit you want it will be your choice I think we have our strawberries and now I'm going to pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours so it can cool off and chill And there you have it, my delicious and refreshing pot cake. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I, as always, enjoyed making it for you. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to be listing all of the directions down below along with my social media, so check it out. And if you have any other requests on what type of videos you would like to see from me, then leave them in the comment section down below and I'll take a look at them. But until next time, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!